first of all, I'm so happy to be sitting with you. I adore you. And I love the title of this, Queen of Me. It sounds like that's the perfect title in the perfect moment. Like, what does that title mean to you? It means taking responsibility, ownership of yourself. Yeah. You know, loving who you are, it's a, you know, you're, I'm my own royalty. Mm -hmm. I'm the boss of me. Mm -hmm. And I'm responsible for the decisions I make, for what I say, for what I do. And it's a statement of self-confidence yeah. that I've grown into more uh, over the last is, few years. Is that crazy to think that we're still finding self-confidence at this stage in our lives? Absolutely. Yeah. And it's, it's so essential more than ever because as we age and, you know, our skin starts to melt yeah. and all kinds <laughs> of things happen to us, you know, I, I realized that, wow, I was shy about wearing a bikini at the beach when I was younger. And I'm thinking, that was ridiculous. Yeah. I, got, I got to stop this nonsense and start wearing a bikini to the beach now, even <laughs> though I'm not my 20-year-old self. You know, I just got to get over that stuff. Well, what I love is in one of these videos, the, the video Waking Up Dreaming, you didn't just wear a bikini. You just decided at this moment, you're, how old are you, 57? 57. I'm 58. So you're 57 years old. So you decided you were going to go full Monty. For this photo shoot, yeah. the album, and I mm -hmm. hope to explore this much further down the line. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll be revisiting this. I'm sure you and I will sit yeah. and talk about this more. But um, I did a whole shoot as part of the album artwork where I'm completely nude. And it was very, it was really scary, but it was sort of like, you know, I don't really love my body. I don't love looking at myself in the mirror with the lights on yeah. uh, or looking in the mirror at all at my, my body. So I said, listen, I'm going to face that fear. I'm going to go into that f photo shoot. Yeah. I'm going to put fashion aside. Yeah. So fashion, we use to flatter our shapes, to, to maybe hide the things we don't like, to make us look more like what we wish we really did look mm -hmm. like without the clothes. Putting fashion aside, this is me. And you how know? did that feel in that moment? It was so empowering. Really? I'm so glad I did it. I was petrified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once I flicked that switch and dove into it, I'm like, I'm all in. I committed 100%. And I wasn't thinking about what anybody thought. Yeah. I didn't think about who was in the room. This is about me. This is my moment to really um, embrace myself in a vulnerable moment. Mm. It had to be vulnerable wow. where I felt that I was facing a fear um, of being judged or being uh, uh, mm -hmm. maybe even laughed at, being embarrassed. Mm -hmm. But it was only empowering. It was really fabulous. Well, you yeah. have, you've lived a life. I watched your documentary and I was so struck by so many things in it. Because when I see where you are today and where you began your journey, you talked about a, li growing up in a violent home, in a home where there was not, sometimes there was not food or electricity, the very basics. You lose your parents when you're in your 20s and you became the mother. You're raising up children at 22. How did those life lessons shape you? How did they change you or develop you into the person you are today, do you think? It's, a, it's, it's sort of um, a double-edged sword because there's elements of that, of going through all those difficulties that make you stronger. You survive, yeah. what, you know, what you survive yeah. makes you stronger. Uh -huh. um, but on the other hand, you also develop insecurities. Insecurities like, um, uh, if, if I don't take care of myself, nobody will. Yeah. Um, you can't really rely on anyone can't else. Count on anybody, right. And you feel you know, more alone in the world. There's an anxiousness that comes with that, a vulnerability. I'm, I'm the type of person that I write myself into the future constantly. As mm. a songwriter, I'm always writing about the future. Mm -hmm. I'm imagining the future. Mm -hmm. And I, so I sort of write myself out of the past. Mm -hmm. I very I rarely ever reflect on my past. And, yeah. and you know, just trying to keep it, to put it behind me. Um, so this is the whole thing also about, about um, doing the nude photography. It's yeah. really about saying, listen, you know, I was abused when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. my, you know, my father would fondle me up on the top and make me go without a shirt. And I was already maturing. And I just, this, this cringy, horrible wanting to escape being in my own skin, mm. I just 
I'm just in this mode now where I'm like, no, no, no. I'm happy in my own skin. Yes. It's the only skin I have. Yes. So I don't have yes. a choice. Yes. Otherwise, I'm going to hate myself for the rest yes. of my life. So it's time to start loving myself in my own skin and really embracing that and not being embarrassed of it or shy of it. And this is who I am. Yeah, and, it's, and, and, and at any point in life, you can say to yourself, I'm not defined by that little girl or the horrible things that happened to me. I'm me. And I'm not even defined by what I wear. No, not at all. By the way, this album is so great. And I know we've talked about some heavy topics, but there's so much fun on this album. There is a song that we've been playing in the studio for the last hour, and it's called Giddy Up. It is a get up and dance song. Shania's new single, by the way, Giddy Up. It's available immediately. It's a download. I've already downloaded it. Awesome. it and the whole album, Queen of Me, drops February 3rd. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.